In the roaring year of 1986, an iconic stereotype took flight on the back of a motorcycle. This is because a secretive Naval Aviation School made its Hollywood debut, Top Gun. But let me tell you, real Top Gun pilots aren't just the mavericks the world thinks they are. They're a league of their own. These extraordinary men and women embody three key characteristics. Humble, credible, and approachable. Ego? That's left at the hangar door. This school isn't about breaking rules, it's about defining them for the rest of the fleet. But let's rewind the clock. The real Top Gun, or the U.S. Navy Fighter Weapons School, was established in 1969 during the Vietnam War. It was in response to the high losses the U.S. was facing in air combat. U.S. fighter forces were trained for intercepting Soviet nuclear bombers, not dogfighting. The reliance on missiles proved flawed in the humid skies of North Vietnam. Captain Frank Alt's report in 1969 led to the birth of Top Gun, an academy for sharing experience, developing new tactics, and reshaping doctrine. Lieutenant Commander Dan Peterson and his team built the Naval Fighter Weapons School from the ground up with minimal support. They scrounged furniture and painted trailers, a far cry from the glamour associated with Top Gun today. Nestled in the remote desert of Fallon, Nevada, Top Gun draws the best of the best pilots from the Navy fleet. They experiment with new maneuvers, design cutting edge tactics, and push the aircraft to the limit. Every Every single day. Graduates earn the infamous Top Gun patch, a symbol of aviation superiority across the globe. It's a badge worn with pride, a reminder of the three characteristics every aviator should embody. The graduates of Top Gun left a huge impact on the Vietnam War. Their new tactics and training led to improved kill ratios. The graduates returned to their units in Vietnam, passing on their skills and knowledge. This impact of Top Gun was huge. After the Vietnam War, Top Gun continued to thrive. The 1986 movie Top Gun catapulted it to fame. In the 90s, as the Cold War ended, it evolved into the Strike Fighter Tactics Instructor Program, teaching air to ground tactics. Today, as part of the Naval Aviation Warfighting Development Center, Top Gun operates the latest aircraft like F-35s, maintaining their edge, ensuring they remain a center of excellence. Top Gun's impact on naval aviation has been nothing short of amazing, from correcting dismal kill ratios to becoming a global symbol of excellence. It's a testament to the dedication, skills, and legacy of these incredible fighter pilots. I have the need, the need for speed, and may your skies always be clear.